What type of job can you get with an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree? Stay tuned. Hey everybody, this is Zach with IT Career Questions and today I'm answering that question. What kind of job can you get with a degree? If your degree specializes in something like networking or system administration and you're getting certifications that correspond with that, uh, with either of those as well, you know, eventually you will be in a role that looks like one of those. You know, you'll be in a system administrator or you'll be a network administrator or engineer, uh, something along those lines. But right off the bat, it's going to be highly unlikely that you'll graduate college and be a system administrator right off the bat. You know, I say this all the time, start out as help desk. It's going to be fantastic, but don't expect right off the bat that you're going to land a network and uh, engineer job uh, without any experience whatsoever because that's probably not going to happen. Um, it happens though, don't get me wrong, but you know, what kind of jobs can you land with a bachelor's degree or an associate's degree? And honestly, that's kind of a loaded question. It's really a loaded question. And to be completely honest with you, I'll tell you why. Because it doesn't matter that you have an associate's or bachelor's degree once you get into the field. Nobody cares about your degree necessarily once you get into the field. They don't care what your degree is in they just care that you have a degree, right? And they just say, okay, he's got a degree. What kind of experience does he have? You know, what does he do? What does he specialize in? What, what kind of skills does he bring to the table? Or she, sorry. Or what kind of skills do they bring to the table? What can they help us with currently? You know, are they specializing in security? Are they specializing in networking? You know, they don't care about your degree. And that's literally, quite honestly, the truth. Literally the truth. They just care that there is a degree. Your degree could be in home, home economics. Your degree could be in culinary for all these people care. They're going to look at degree experience. What, what kind of experience does this person have in the IT field? You know, so eventually that's kind of the way that you have to look at this. So you could start off in IT help desk, move your way out of help desk into a system administrator role at some point, And then you could say, I really don't like system administrator. I, this isn't the role for me. I'd much rather be a programmer. So along that, that time that you're a system administrator, you're teaching yourself programming and you're doing a lot of programming and you're building up all your programming skills and you're actually programming things and maybe you're implementing some things at your current job or you're building some kind of GitHub uh, profile online or you know something like that. And you're able to provide you know examples and things like that. You're, you could pretty much go out and say, all right, I'm going to be a programmer. You know, I mean, there's th th that kind of thing happens all the time. It happens so often. It's just, it's funny. There's so much room to just kind of move around and jump around in this field once you get into the field and once you start getting experience. Once you start getting a lot of experience, and I'm talking like a few years, not a few as in like three. I'm talking like once you're in the field, like 10 years, you're just able to kind of jump around and move around as, as freely as you want once you're getting that experience that you actually need to make those jumps and those hops and those leaps, right? So it's a wide open field. It's just wide open. You can do anything. Like the possibilities are endless with being in IT. So whatever degree that you have, that's great. I'm really happy that you have a degree. A lot of, you know, uh, employers out there are going to be really happy that you have a degree, but eventually they're going to say, all right, what kind of experience does this guy have or girl have? And what do they really specialize in? What do they bring to the table? The degree part is really something that HR is going to look at and say, all right, they meet the qualification for this application. They have a degree. Other than that, I mean, not a lot of IT directors and managers and things like that really care what kind of degree that you have. They just care that you have a degree. That's, that's honestly how it goes, you know? I hope that kind of helps, you know? Maybe not what you wanted to hear, um, but, you know, when you're going to get your degree, you get, you get a lot of knowledge, so and that's really the truth. So, I don't know. I hope this helps you guys out. I hope it gives you a little bit more insight into the field, into the, the business side of things and kind of understanding it. Um, as always, here to help. If you guys have any comments, questions, concerns, you guys know what to do. Hit me on the comments below. Happy to help answer any questions that I possibly can. As always, 
take it easy.